Let's continue customizing our Arch Labs system. We finished talking about the caveats. You know that Arch Labs is uh, only recently created, so we're only at uh, version number three, and number four is coming up. So there are lots of things that I forgot to install, or there's a typo and stuff like that. So we're gonna fix those. Plus, we're going to install the Savvy icons, the Surfer icons, the Plank theme, the Plank program, the Aureola Com key. We're going to fully customize our Arch Labs. Okay, how shall we proceed that, uh, do, by the, to do that? Well, maybe we should go first to the internet. So Chromium is going to be opened. And then we type in where we want to go. So you see visually why we are going to the GitHub from Eric Dubois, name Arch Labs. Everything you need is on here. There is a small explanation here, what you're going to achieve, what we're going to do, how it's going to look, a different kind of login, a different kind of logout, a special kind of menu generator, which is going to automatically generate everything beautiful and all the keyboards we're gonna have later on copy paste and the art team which is really making it beautiful and transparent as you can see terminals enough terminals for you to have fun and that's what we're gonna do we're gonna download these files that are up here the installation folder that's the one that's the most interesting you can do it with the zip file, but I'd rather do it and show it to you in a terminal, like so. So this is the termite terminal, and I'll put the tunar or the file manager next to it. So you see both systems working on file manager and working on the terminal. We're gonna git clone HTTPS and we're going to get it from the GitHub. Who's hosting it? Eric Dubois is hosting it. What is he calling it? Arch Labs. Enter. Now you see here a map of folder coming with files and an installation folder. And this is the one we need. And this we can fine tune it even further. Those are our personal settings. You can use them or don't use them. It's up to you. But we're definitely going to use the ones with a number. So from this to here are all the ones with numbers. All the rest is not needed. But you'll see when you analyze the scripts that some of them are pointing to some of these scripts. OK, let's start. I would press a zero. As you can see, there is no help, no assistance for you to see what I press. Let's first go to full screen mode. I forgot to do that, sorry. That's that. What I mean, what do you mean with assistance? Well, it is, gives me the, the opportunity to show you what you can do with all these scripts. Any of these scripts can be run with dot slash install. Then I press tap and tap again. And nothing happens. Aha, Eric. Why? PWD, present working directory. Oops. I am here in the folder Arch Labs installation, but the terminal is not yet. So, ls, there is my Arch Labs. I'm going to change the directory to Arch Labs. ls, I should go inside the installation folder cd installation ls here are all my scripts now the left part is the same as the right part okay now i can start with my lesson here dot slash install i want to install something for you to make it easier to see what i'm pressing on my keyboard and it's an interesting little program and it's called screen key as you can see i've already installed it and the process is a bit faster now. So I'm gonna run screen key with this little sign which says actually to the computer run it and put it away in the background. 
So now it's here, up here, and we can right mouse click it, preferences, let's check. That's correct, that's correct, okay. Now you'll see me pressing buttons. Interesting, that's backspace enough times. So in order to run all the scripts, we do dot slash tap, no, no, maybe not tap now, first the zero, and then tap, tap, which will give us all the zeros, 010, 020, 025, 040. That's the one we're gonna do first, then 100, the 200, and so on. So update the system first. Okay, we're gonna use 10, update first. Um, let me see if I can make it a bit, not so, opacity maybe a bit more. So we can see through it better. Okay. So, giving my password to the system, it's up to date, he says. Your system is now up to date. I've done this. Zero then, arrow up, arrow down. Okay, next up, dot slash zero two zero. Tap tap, there are two twos, meaning or you living in Belgium and you can use the 25 or you live somewhere else and you take the 20. So install the fastest Arch Mirrors version 1. It's going to use Reflector as a program. It's going to ping and download and test all the servers that he knows about. So the mirror list is checking all these servers. Of course, the server in Taiwan will not have a fast response. And you'll see in a bit which servers are responding quickly. Let's go to one of those. Here is Taiwan, for instance, 25, which is very low. Here is well one, don't know where that one is. This one is bruh, I think it's Brazil. Anyway, he did find, did find something to update here, not the fonts. Okay, thank you. Updating the font config cache. Okay, so we now have a mirror list and the fastest server is on the top and the lowest server is on the, on the bottom. So now we have a fast system. Updating configs, it's always slow. No problem. Zero, what else? Ah, yeah, 25, there is no 30, we jump to 40. What's the packer? Um, maybe also interesting to quickly go over the text, uh, the what's inside. So pseudo pacman minus syyu is telling him to install everything, make everything up to date. So this text should be deleted. So like so, updating. And what's this one? It's going to install everything. It's first gonna check is reflector installed if it's install do nothing need it do nothing skip it and if it's not installed do not confirm just install it don't ask people to say yes and this is a reflector so this is the code to make and the lists to find the fastest arch linux server and this is going to show it to you cat and then again let's do an update after all these um, changes which installed or not all so now we're here and we want to install the AUR. That's a bit specific and a bit technical, but these are scripts to install a program, which is an AUR helper. And the AUR helper is the Arch user repository. It's a database of all the scripts that will install thousands of applications on your system. So it's quite interesting to know something about AUR and to have a program to install it. I'm using Packer. Other people are using AYAURT. It's installed as well. And other people are using Packauer and it's also installed as well. It's up to you to decide what you use as an AUR helper. Okay, Packer is installed because Packer is being used in all these scripts. What's 100? 
100 is the core software. There might be things you don't want to have. So I want to have, I want to be a compit in any distro. I want to have these things. So of course there are things I, I use rarely and there are things I use all the time. So it depends and it's also, I installed it also because I want to test out the SAFI icons and the surfing icons. Also another reason to have me to have programs, applications. Anyway, all it says is, let's run this thing here. All it says is sudo pacman, package manager, eh, pacman, minus s, install it, no confirm, don't ask him to always say yes, 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 yes all the time, every line, it, it is every line that is in here, you should have, uh, you should enter yes otherwise. And if it's already installed, it's just gonna skip it. So don't waste any time to reinstall anything. It's going to go over it and take the next one. We're already in the Nemo part, which is here. Why Nemo? Well, because mainly I am designing these Sardi icons and Sardi icons and Nemo, if you're looking for an icon, it's best that you can see the icon and search for it. And that's, of course, well, the better file manager to do it, in my opinion. And here we have here the VN stats. If we download stuff and we can see, okay, I've downloaded one gigabyte this month, it's going to record everything. Okay. And all the zippers. That's done. 100 is finished. If you want to print, if you don't want to print, it's in a virtual machine. Will not work anyway. So then you don't run it. I'm going to check it anyway to see if it works. And to show you guys that something comes up. He asks my password. So, okay, you should give him the password, authenticate it, and type it again. So, why is that? Because at some point in time, you're going to enable and start the service, CUP. It's interesting to know the name, the CUPS service, and a D for daemon, and all the rest of the software you need. So now the CUP service is started once we reboot, and it's already started now. Okay, 200. What's that? Extra software. Let's have a look. There's a lot of software down here. A lot of software. The most, most of the software, I don't know if we can make it nicer. I'm going to try anyway to see if we can change anything. Let's change themes or so. No. Well, I can do the following. Also interesting to see. I can do right mouse click and open with Genie. That will probably give me some kind of formatting. All the black ones are the ones that are going to be installed. All the red ones is just blah blah, it's just text that will be skipped. So if you want to install Peak, which is an animated GIF maker, you really need to put it like this. So that's black. When it's no hashtag in front of it, it will be installed. To be able to have the minimum that I need, I install the NeoFetch, which is actually already installed, which is just going to be skipped then. I want Spotify, I'm paying for it, so I should want to have it. And then Sublime Text, I'm not paying for it, it's free and it's going to be installed as well. And the last thing is not the least thing. Some of the icons will never change. Whatever icon theme you take, it's always the same icon and you're ah, frustrated about it. Well, there's this little program, Hard Code Fixer. It's going to run a program from Fogalong, from GitHub. It's going to erase, where is a big word, it's going to change the icon path to a correct icon path so that the icon will be changed in the future. So that's quite interesting. In the meantime, Spotify is still installing, almost installed. So we have 200 and you can add, you can add, here's the hard code uh, fixer. You can add, I don't know, core birds, etcher, USB, drive maker, Font Manager, G Radio wants some music from the radio, Google Drive Synchronizer, Minecraft's game, and so on. 
just included in the program here extra software version 2. Here we see that uh, he's fixing three icons so the hard-coded icons the little program that we say is so interesting this one here is now its turn to run and we have five elements that we're going to fix so whatever icon theme I'll change I'll, I'll go to it will be fixed now okay 300 what's 300 let's start it and talk about it done 300 is going to install a font an awesome font often used to have icons um, for conkeys and all that so it's a good thing it's there so you don't have that issue anymore we're going to install the Ariola conkeys version 3 we're going to install the Sardi extra icons there is the Sardi icons and in the side the Sardi icons there are scripts scripts to change the color you have a blue icon theme you want a red one change one hexadecimal code run it you have a red icon theme so those things are uh, scripts and the result of these scripts are hosted on the github Sardi extra these are the core icons these are different kind of icons surfing icons can be any color you want and can be any way it looks it doesn't matter how it looks this is all circular with shadow and it's very defined and this is just freestyling arc gtk theme is our arc theme from horse 3180 all the plank themes hundreds of plank themes are installed now and we want another cursor not this black one but the breeze cursor and then we get this message all eye candy has been installed yes everything is installed 400 running what's 400 400 is going to install the other fonts if it's not already installed we saw in the previous tutorial that it was installed so it's just going to skip it the Roboto font I found that it's a good alternative for the Noto fonts I really like the Noto fonts but the Roboto fonts is also quite amazing Nemo is already installed in one of the previous one just to be sure it's going to be skipped anyway but it's also going to install the file roller so right mouse click extract right mouse click com uh, compress that's that and then a lot of stuff that's going to be installed just for uh, this open box so like the ob key is already installed so we don't need to it so i've put a hashtag in front of it and others have already been installed as well but just gonna skip if it's installed and if it's not installed like this one it's going to be installed this one was forgotten so this is one of the caveats that's going to be installed now and um, don't see any other caveats in there okay Pamak is already installed that's this little icon up here so it's just gonna skip it now it's not not red and red anymore it's up to date uh, some of these things will be already installed which is just great and all it does is it says package has been installed and if it is already installed it says package is already installed it's going to skip it let's take a look if we scroll up lots of things to check out but um, voila here it is OB key kit is already installed Alex appearance OB kit is already installed just making sure that in this release or the next release or the coming releases every software every package that I want that I need then is installed anyway so uh, missing packages will be installed and installed packages will be skipped basically so here you see them everything okay then the sound that's specific don't think you need it but listen why do I install it 410 is for um, the Bluetooth headset I have which is from Bose or Bose I don't know how to say it B-O-S-E you know the Bluetooth headset 
and Bluetooth uh, sound color uh, boxes and so on, you can tell with this little icon that we'll have, uh, this little icon here is now our volume, but I can't really quickly ch say change it to the headphone of my Bluetooth. And with this passive tray, I can. So I installed this passive tray GTK3 standalone. That's the only one that worked for me. All the others, there are a lot of possibilities. Maybe we should take a quick look and show you what Packer looks like. We installed it and it's, it's, been, it's been working. So passive tray, then I have this choice and then you go, oh, what choice should I take? And of course you should take normally this one, 145 people say this is good. And what happens? Well, I go for this one, number four. Only seven people say it's good. And I know this one, number four, will work. So this is the one that's going to be used and installed. Up here you see what I installed. So it's not always numbers that counts. Um, test it out. Then 420. Install software Arch Labs version 3. Well, some of the things were not installed. And here we see some of the things. So the GTK record, record my, my desktop, was, I thought it was installed. But it's going to be installed anyway, I see here. Let's take a look. 420. Yep, it's going to be installed. It says needed and no confirm. Meaning, if it's not installed, it would it will be now installed. So any software that's left out, that was forgotten, with the right mouse click or the Windows spacebar, any program that's not included here is going to be installed. But remember, I was there from the early days. So version 1, version 2, version 3 is this. So these are things that are also um, had to be installed in version 1 or version 2. So that's why the needed and the no confirm, it will skip it if it's already installed. Gigolo, or Gigolo, I don't know, Terminix, XFC Slimlock, one of the caveats, right mouse click, lock screen will not work because Slimlock is not installed. Once you've installed this one, it will work. Terminix is just an, another terminal I wanted to try out. It's nothing to do with uh, Arch Labs. Sakura is the same, a new terminal I wanted to try out. But all the rest is indeed programs for and used by Arch Labs. How about the installation? Skipping, skipping, he says, already installed. Gigolo, ah, Gigolo is not installed. Now Chiglo is already installed, it's Terminix that's going to be installed. And you follow these lines. Terminix has been installed. XSC Slimlock has been installed. Voila. So now we can use our Slimlock lock screen. And there we have it. Our Slimlock is working because we've installed the software. Okay, <clears throat> last but not least, for any, at least for me, I'm loving my mint stick. You see articles popping up everywhere, and I do know why. I have installed over 50 distributions of ISOs of Linux, trying out Sarti icons, trying out Surfing icons. All of the time, Minstick has proven to be reliable. I download an ISO, put it on a USB, and boot from it. It works all the time. So that's why. I'm using Minstick everywhere I go, and it's easily installed. It's just called Minstick Git. There is only one very rare instance, and I don't know why, but I don't care. So Minstick Git is the name you're looking for. If you go to the AUR, and going to the AUR, is clicking on Termite, Packer, Minstick is enough. Just know the name, more or less, and then you have here the name you should actually type in. In this case you can type in zero and then it will be installed. Not going to do that, it's already done. You'll see that it says here a, a strange thing, an error. I hope the 
responsible for the package will fix it but watch this I reinstall it I install it twice that's why I call it run this twice version 2 <laughs> now MinStick works MinStick it has been installed now with this little program MinStick we can say do stuff with but rather than working in terminal I'll make a menu for it to install an ISO to USB and to format the stick this concludes our tutorial because I don't want to install this one it's going to be sharing folders with other people at home I doesn't need to do that so that's that we've gone over all the main issues it's time to reboot and it's also time then next tutorial to check out this folder personal folder